about to go. We got a Kawasaki coming into the first turn. Yeah, Ooh. and Roxton are right there. They almost came together, all of them. Now Roxton had a terrible first moto. I think it was 19th. And Sexton around Roxton, so he's second, trying to get Savachi for the lead. And Tomac is lurking as well. Oh, looks like he's got a run. Oh, he's got Barsha, and he almost got Roxton as well. Meanwhile, Sexton setting up Savachi. Big move around the outside for the 23. Just like that, he's in the lead. Up here firing with these guys and trying to rebound. Tomac, though, putting pressure on. Roxon trying to get Savachi as Tomac tries to get Roxon. Craig is the next rider in line. Yeah, there he is behind Tomac. Oh, Tomac yeah, giving it his really all. he's really working it, man. He really <laughs> wants to get by Joey, you can tell. No, he tried. Savachi shut the door. Oh, Savachi man. takes him wide Both again. Sides. Yep. Two corners in a row. Savachi shut him down to Tomac. Still fighting. Does he got him? Oh, he Ooh. almost did what Savachi yeah. did in the first moto. There's just nothing to grab traction with it, on the inside. But around the outside, he makes it work anyway. Wow, dude. Eli's feet was off the peg. He was full set. Desperation. <laughs> and totally yeah, outside. This is, this is always a fun little section to watch. Does Eli go wide? Where's he going to go? Like, you know he's trying to make a move quick here. And he chooses to follow the same line as Roxanne yeah. as they come through. Crowd loves this. Oh, oh, big move around the outside, wheeling wow. on the downside of the jump, puts the Yamaha power to the ground. 2022, but it is so difficult to go one-on-one -on -one with Eli Tomac in this series. He's a three-time 450 national champ. Oh, it is beast mode from Tomac. The gap is almost gone. He's right there on the 23. Wow. Ryan and John Tomac, and those guys work really well together, so I'm curious. To, it'd be curious to see yeah it was a two second gap you can see when they went through the finish line a half a lap later it is one on one out of this turn he's got a wheel on the inside he's trying to set up whoa he that is not the way you want to do it he left that uphill completely sideways and just went full gas into the outside i mean these guys are flat out right now scott coming out of these corners let's send it down to jason thomas so Eli Tomac still running that Dunlop MX-14 that we talked about, that scoop tire. I asked him on the podium after the first moto if he thought about changing it, and he was having none of it. He was almost offended that I thought he was having to be a little bit less aggressive. And maybe he's using that sand tire to get the drive out of the turns, because it's unbelievable what he's able to do. Do you see how he's able to go three in? And oh! He cut down and turned off nothing. Yes, and got the lead in a section where we've seen riders crash. I would have sexed it trying to respond to and leaping into that corner, and he is looking to say good night here. Unbelievable, the intensity from Tomac at the beginning of this race. Pass him and start pulling away. It's reversed here. Got a lot of racing left. We'll go back to JT with an update on those tires. So just to follow up on that tire, I spoke to their team manager, Jeremy Coker, and he said the same thing. He questioned the tire, asked if Eli wanted to change it, and he just stared at him and said, absolutely not. So <laughs> clearly, that's a sensitive subject right now, and Eli's unleashing on the racetrack. Uh, he's, rode this, he's rode this tire day in and day out in Cortez, Colorado. Oh, Ooh, little mistake. Yeah, a little, yep. a little heavy there on the front end, but he knows what it's going to do in all conditions. And back. Gap, little over a second right now. He's hanging in there. Yeah, and, and Chase is close enough to be able to watch the lines. He sees it's Eli. He knows he needs to perform. Mechanics, uh, the mechanics board there, was, uh, mechanic Brandon Zimmerman says fight, and that's exactly what he's doing. For we, Tomac, the message was sprint away. We've had an epic day of racing here at Millville yes. today. Frame. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's fantastic stuff, and really this year has delivered. You look at the points. And it shows how close they are, but I, I think it argued that the racing has even been better than the results. The mechanics cheering their riders on, trying to get them that one last percent they need. Sexton has got him in his sights. Three times he's one of the toughest, one of the best ever at this game. Even he's got to be impressed. Whatever he's thrown down, Sexton has been able to answer. The best Tomac has to offer and matching it. Yeah, absolutely. And I remember being back on Geico and right, being Chase's teammate. And Chase always was like, I I'm going to be a better 450 guy. 1.2 seconds was the gap the last time around. Oh, Tomac, that's like Evil Knievel level. Yeah, when you're going down that downhill that fast, I mean, it's a full send. He's more and more rough like this. A little, a little secret that I like to do is um, if you go back to a, a two-stroke, a two-stroke has no engine braking, yep. right? Now, when you put an engine, a four-stroke four has engine. With the arc levers in the gear, and he gave Tomac two options, a millimeter apart. 
and Eli said, can you build me one in between? And he said, well, that would be a half a millimeter. And he did it, and he put it on the bike, and he's like, yep, that's the one I want. And I don't use it much when I'm r r racing on the track, so I actually oftentimes roll it back, Jason. During the race? Yes. You back off that, yep. that tightness. Yep. Matt got around him earlier in the race, giving Eli all he can handle. It's their ETS drone cam. Yeah, we're, we're just under six minutes to go here, and these guys have been, they haven't been this far apart. Like, basically the whole race, they've been, they know they're there. Did, it doesn't look like, well, he made a mistake there, but it doesn't look like Sexton's over his head no. running his pace. He did make one mistake, but... He looks like he can run this comfortably. Way yeah. through, Tomac pulled him in this entire section. He's almost doubled the kind of gap that he had. Oh, oh this is everything you want. Two great riders, teams that want a bad, and really a clash of generations as well. Let's send it down to Jason Thomas. We're going to see how this shakes out right here. As you can see, I think this is probably the tightest it's been in a couple laps. Um, you know, we're at 2 minutes and 57 seconds to go right here. So uh, <laughs> uh, let, the, let the best man win. Powering out of that sand turn into the next set of sand whoops. Just so fun to watch these two push each other to the backs. Craig is 23 seconds back. Sexton and Tomac, no problems there. Oh, Sexton is almost to the rear wheel. Here that Max Anstey, who was uh, running in seventh, is now out of this motor. We might see his motorcycle here. Oh no. oh, no, he's down. That is terrible. Yeah, that's not a good place. Not one you want to crash. This was a good old-fashioned battle right here. And, uh, you know, like as you said, the, the clock's ticking down. Um, you know Chase, the two lap, when he sees the two-lap board, Jason, he's going to be all in. Oh, wow. You could just hear the engine roaring on that Yamaha 450, huh? That was neat. Tomac has been able to keep it to about a second the entire time. And now Sexton is running out of time. It's going to be two to go. Can he get close enough? The final push. Two-lap card is out. There it is for Tomac and then for Sexton. 1.6 seconds in it. Let him get close enough because if he gets close, obviously it's a, it's a good opportunity for Chase to get there. And then with just one lap to go, Chase can suffer through this because these guys, I feel like, they're definitely feeling the fatigue right now. Yeah. I, I feel like... It's everything they have right now. Did Sexton get close enough to show him a wheel? Rev limiter in the air. Before he puts that power back to the ground. Sexton closed back up through there. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting a little bit tighter. Oh, everything they've got. It was 1.6. It's 1.1. Sexton made up a half second the last time around. Yep. Crowds into it as well. Yeah, we'll see what the mechan mechanics are going to be all cranked up, doing everything they can to try to get their riders to... Whoa! <laughs> Sexton absolutely sent it into that corner. Into the sand rollers for the last time. Oh, man, Eli got a pretty good drive through there, and so did Chase. Yeah, Chase was better than he was the last time around, but Eli got it as well. Beautiful drive out of the corner by Tomac. Watch out for the lap traffic. No problems there. Uh, Sexton have anything left. Any tricks he can pull out. Sexton a little bit further inside at the base. Here we go to the top. Great run by the number three. You're just shaking your head. Yeah, I'm shaking my head like Chase is doing everything he can. He's thrown everything he possibly can at Eli today. Um, unfortunately, he had that crash in that Moto 1. Late in the Moto, too strong, too fit, too solid, too consistent. Eli Tomac goes 1-1. And takes the points lead. Sexton left it all out there. Absolutely in the not. And Eli keeps that win streak alive. He has not lost a moto since the second moto at round four at high point. So a good run from Anderson and even Eli yeah, Tomac. Eli instead. looks, a, he looks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even the fittest are going to be tired after being pushed like that. What an effort by Eli Tomac. Um, that was... That was just crazy. The pace the whole time. Had my work cut out for me er early there. Had to come up to the pack. And then he latched on to me. So, uh... When you get by, by Chase, he's really good at latching on. Yeah, I was good that whole moto that time. Um, you know, was able to put the bike where I wanted to. We made a little bit of adjustment here and there, cleaned some things up, and it paid off. So, uh, 
thank you to the team, Monster Energy, Yamaha, uh, everyone. Uh, man, that was a fun battle. Yeah, I mean, my riding hasn't been really an issue today. I actually felt a little bit off, honestly. I, in practice, I was making stupid mistakes. And then I actually turned around for the motos besides for that one tip over. I felt good. I uh, was trying my best. Eli got around me. <laughs> and I just tried to get my best to latch on. And uh, I couldn't get close enough to make a pass, obviously. But <clears throat> that was some gnarly pace for 35 minutes. So, uh, man, he's on a roll. Um, I got to get better. That's the bottom line. And uh, we're, uh, we're here to fight for the rest of the season.